Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. So in today's video, I am sharing Indian style crab curry or kakra jhol. And if you are new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. So as you can see, these all are live crabs of different varieties. This one is a blue crab and we have already tasted it previously, but it doesn't taste that good. So we are going to take this one, this large crab. In India, I haven't seen this large crab. So we took this one large crab and you can see the crab is still alive. So we have to kill that before cooking it of course so we are just instructing him to kill the crab and cut it in four pieces so that it's easy to be clean out as you can see the crab is already been cleaned and cut in pieces now we are adding some turmeric and salt And on the other side, I have already kept a pan on heat and will be adding some mustard oil. And yes, this recipe is being done by my husband. So he is preparing everything. And now he is coating the crab with the salt and the turmeric powder. Now since my oil is also heated, so I'll add all the pieces of crab leaving the legs. I'll add the legs after a few minutes. So I'll just fry the first big pieces or the body parts of the crab. And we have to fry it very well, means we have to fry it from all the sides so it will take some time to fry the pieces from all the side so after frying it from all the side you can see the color is also changed now I will uh, he is adding all the legs pieces of the crab so in India we used to have I think two three crabs at a time because the crabs are baby crabs very small in size but this one crab is only serves for four people easily the size of the crab is so big now again we have to fry everything very well so just cover and fry it till all the parts are golden brown So as you can see the pieces are changing it color so uh, he is flipping the pieces to the other side and then again cover and cook for a few more minutes. After a few more minutes, you can see the color of the crab is changed. It is completely cooked. Now I will be transferring it to another pan. So the crab is being transferred to another pan and you can see all the pieces are cooked from all the sides. 
and in the same pan now he is adding the mustard oil again and the pan is already heated so now he will be adding the whole garam masala and the bay leaves where it includes the cinnamon sticks green cardamom and cloves he is frying the whole garam masala with the bay leaves with in the oil so that it release its aroma in the oil after it's been fried he is adding the onions the onions are sliced in pieces and now we have to fry the onion until it change its color in this time you can add a little bit of sugar just to caramelize it or else in the healthy version he is adding some jaggery just a little bit and have to fry it with the onions till the time the jaggery melts with the oil and then cover and cook for few more minutes or the onions changing its color now you can see the jaggery have melted very well so this time the flame is also a bit high so after the onion is fried well it's the time to add some powdered masala the first one is turmeric powder then goes the cumin powder or the jeera powder then he is adding the coriander powder or dhone guru and then the paste has been prepared with turmeric uh, i mean sorry the paste has been prepared with green chilies garlic and ginger the paste is added and now he will mix everything well and he has also kept um some grated garlic to be added after few minutes at this time he has added the chopped tomatoes instead of chopping the tomatoes you can add the tomato puree also but he preferred to add the chopped tomatoes and mix everything well with the masala so this time he have added the grated garlic and also he have added some water from the jar so that our powdered masala doesn't get burn now you can reduce the flame to your medium the flame was at medium high at the beginning so now you can reduce the flame to medium adding some salt and potatoes also you can fry the potatoes at the beginning and then you can add it later on but uh, here as you can see the potatoes are not fried and it's cut in big chunks the potato size is the same we add in chicken curry or in biryani if you are uh, choosing to add small chunks of potatoes you can add the potatoes later on but since the potato chunks are pretty big just cut to half so this is the right time to add the potatoes then cover the pan and cook for a few more minutes after few minutes again uncover the pan and then just scratch everything from the side and from the bottom and then again cover and cook for a few more minutes so this time you just need to cover and cook so that the masalas are also cooked and the potatoes are also cooking with the masala
very important to scratch everything from the bottom so now you can see this one is the crab butter so since it's a very large crab so it got some fats which you can see as crab fat or crab butter we have already mixed salt and turmeric with the butter or the crab fat and this time we are adding that fat with the gravy and the potatoes and again cover and cook you have to continue this cover and cook for 2-3 minutes so this time we have added the crabs which is already been fried beforehand and also add the oil with the crab and mix everything very well coat the crab with the masalas now adding the crab oil it's nothing that it's the same the oil in which the crab has been fried and if you add the oil of that crab it gives a beautiful smell to the gravy after mixing everything just cover and cook as i have said earlier also you need to repeat the process for few more times now added some hot water for the gravy you can adjust the gravy or the consistency according to your wish and since uh, the water has been added so the salt is also need to be added to balance the taste now in the water we just need to cook the potatoes and the crabs since uh, the potatoes are also been tossing with the masalas and the crabs are also fried very well so now it won't take much time it hardly take uh, takes 15 minutes now 10 15 minutes We just need to cook everything till the crab and the potatoes are completely done. After mixing everything with the water, just cover and cook for a few more minutes. again scrapping from the sides and from the bottom and it's done the potatoes are also done and the crab is also done so finally our Indian style crab curry is being done and ready to be served it tastes also very awesome and with the crab curry i have taken some white rice and some bitter ground fry i hope you like my efforts and you like the video of indian style crab curry if you really like the video please give a thumbs up and see you soon in my next video bye take care